Hey, what's going on YouTube? By the way, it's Help here. Today in this video, I have a way on how to update to iOS 7 free without a developer account or registering a UDID. Now, in my previous video before iOS 7 was released, I've made a video on how to register your UDID in order to get access to iOS 7, not knowing this method that is, uh, I've discovered that works for iOS 7 to update for free. Of course, uh, both methods work. This one is free. The other one you had to pay five or eight dollars. But since my job to you is to bring all the latest information on your iOS device, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to update your, uh, iOS device to iOS 7 completely free without the need of registering your UDID. So let's go ahead and begin. Now, this iPhone 5, I just recently uh, restored it to iOS 6.1.4, which is the latest version of iOS 5. As you can see, there is on the register screen. Now, what you want to do is you want to restore to a fresh version of iOS 6.1.4 and set it up as a new device. As you can see here, I'm setting it up as a new device on iTunes and you're gonna need the latest version of iTunes now a quick tip you will lose your jailbreak if you do this and if you rely on a sim card unlock you will also lose that unlock so I was I recommend those of you that don't want to lose your jailbreak to stay away from this and also those unlockers as well so once you restore to 6.1.4 you want to go ahead and restore and click set up as a new device once you do that go ahead click get started and what you want to do is you want to hold down the option key here on the keyboard want to hold down the option key uh, for Windows you hold down shift so you hold down the option key and you click uh, check for updates and I've already downloaded iOS 7 for my device of course you would download your iOS 7 for your device and I would recommend uh, iOS 6.1.4 of course uh, in case you want to downgrade back in the future because you will be able to downgrade back to 6.1.4 if you don't like iOS 7 because it is beta 1 and there is some bugs and the same method applies to downgrade and update uh, both methods apply the same way so hold down the shift key on Windows option key on Mac while clicking the update button let's go do that again and you get a pop-up window I have the iOS 7 version on my desktop I really recommend you save it to your desktop I'm gonna go in and select iOS 7 is gonna prompt us to update we're gonna go ahead and click update now uh, of course the uh, the process there on the top of iTunes as you can see extracting software uh, the process takes uh, about three to five minutes I'm going to be editing the video a little so uh, the video is not that long of course so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that the uh, iOS device is being processed right now for the iOS 7.0 beta 1 so let's go ahead and wait Verifying update software update. So as you can see there, the iPhone has started to update to iOS 7 beta 1. Uh, again, without the need of a uh, developer account or have to register your UDID, uh, this is totally free. And uh, this method was discovered back uh, in iOS 6.0, but I did not think this process would work on 7.0. I thought Apple would block this, but again, my job to you is give you the latest information on how to get around your iOS device. And this video, again, guys, is for you. So let's go ahead and wait for the uh, update. So there it is, the device is completely restored, and as you can see I updated to 7.0 and watch the device, it will not ask me for uh, a developer account or anything like that, it just goes straight to the lock screen and boom, you'll be in iOS 7. Now uh, another quick tip before you downgrade, now you can downgrade to 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 depending on your device of course. Uh, until iOS 7 goes public, once iOS 7 goes public this downgrade will not work, Apple is still signing iOS 6 for the fact because it's only a beta version right now so what you want to do to restore back to iOS 6 this time around if you want to downgrade you want to hold down again the option key on Mac and shift on Windows and click restore this time around and click 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 the one for your respective device I have a list down below of the devices that are supported for iOS 7 and of course let's go ahead and take a quick glance that this does work let's go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network here quick and hit OK. And there it is. We're in iOS 7 completely free. You can go ahead and enjoy the glorious iOS 7 and enjoy all the quick little bit tips and the things that are all new in iOS 7. I will have further videos on what iOS 7's new features and all the cool new things you can do with iOS 7 and what it all offers. Uh, again, you guys can go ahead and update and downgrade 
until iOS 7 goes public, and there it is, iOS 7, without the need of a developer account, go ahead and play around with it and enjoy why you can so hopefully apple doesn't block this i hope you guys enjoy this video please thumbs up if you did enjoy it like always guys it does help me out a lot and i really do appreciate it when you thumbs up my video if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about ios 7 make sure you subscribe to this channel for further videos on ios 7 and more cool videos like this it's been iDevice. i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will catch you guys on the next one peace